Hello friends. In this video we will test that, can chat GPT writes code to control the ESP32, using Blink IoT. In this exciting experiment, we will test the programming skills of chat GPT, and challenge it to write code to control the built-in LED of ESP32, from the Blink IoT platform. This video is a must watch for anyone, who are curious about the future of AI and its potential in programming and IoT. Let's start by setting up the Blink dashboard. Here, click on the Create New Template button from the dashboard. Next, give your template a name. You can give it any name you want. Then, select the type of the device. In our case, it is ESP32. Then click on Create button and the template will be created. Here, you don't need to do anything, you just click on save button to save the template. Now the template is ready. Next step is to create mobile dashboard. So, just open the Blink app from your phone. Here, tap on the developers mode option. From here, select the template that we have created earlier, which is chat GPT. Here we will create the mobile dashboard. So first click on plus icon. And then, select the button widget. Once the button appears on the screen, click on it to open its properties. The next step is to create a data stream by selecting, choose data stream option. And then click on create new, it will take you to the next screen. Set the virtual pin to V0, data type to integer, and the maximum value to 1. And then click on done button, it will take you to the next screen. Here, set the mode from push to switch, to complete the data stream creation. Now the mobile dashboard is ready. The next step is to add a device to the template. To do this, go back to the main screen. Here click on, add new device. Then select, manually from template. Here, select your template, which is chat GPT. And then click on create button, to create the new device. Now the new device is created. You can use button widget to turn on and off the LED connected to the ESP32. Next, let's see how we can use chat GPT to generate code for our ESP32. Here, we will type our message, which is, write Arduino code to control the built-in LED of ESP32 using Blink app. And here we have it. Chat GPT has generated the code for us. Now select all the code and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. Then open the Arduino IDE and paste the code here. The code is not yet ready as we need to enter your Blink credentials here. You can obtain these from the Blink dashboard. Here, select your device by clicking on its name. Then go to the device info tab. To find your Blink credentials, copy these credentials. Now return to the Arduino IDE and paste the credentials at the top of the code. You also need to assign the authorization token to the auth array. You can do it by using copy and paste commands. Next, enter your Wi Fi SSID and password. Next, we need to make one more change to complete the code. Here chat GPT assign the incorrect virtual pin. In our case, the virtual pin is V0 instead of V1. Now the code is ready, hit upload button to upload it on the ESP32 board. Next, let's move on to testing the code and see the results in action. Here you can see that, I am able to control the built-in LED of the ESP32 using the Blink app which means the code is working fine. In conclusion, using chat GPT to generate code for the ESP32 has been a success. It's amazing to see how artificial intelligence can simplify the programming process and enable us to build functional IoT projects like this. However, it's important to completely review and understand the code before using it in real-world applications. That's all for today. Bye.